All right, let's just welcome back. So in the last video, we added or pitched our yeast into our carboy. Now here comes the final step before we let our wort ferment for two weeks. Okay, so we need a sanitized bung. This is like this pure kind of rubber looking thing and a sanitized airlock. Bungs come in different sizes too, so make sure your bung fits the roof of your carboy. And uh, if you bought a starter kit, you got nothing to worry about. Airlocks may have a different shape to it. Yours may look a little bit different than mine. Uh, I use both styles. I've got a bunch of these. And regardless, they serve the same exact purpose to let the CO2 out and let any air from going in. Putting this on can be tricky. I have blown this in the past. I have pushed the bung all the way through the roof of the carboy and dropped it into the wart. And I didn't have another bung at the time and it was horrible. Wasted the batch. Rookie mistake. Trial and error. Here's what I do. Connect the bung to the airlock before you connect the bung to the carboy. Have your airlock filled with your sanitizer solution to the appropriate level. All of your airlocks should have like the, the minimum and maximum or fill line on there. You don't need to be exact. Honestly, I have not had star stand in the past or ran out and I have used vodka. I put vodka in my airlock and it did the trick. Preserve the wart. Okay, so now your bung and carboy are going to be slippery. So grab a clean paper towel or napkin this has to be clean or new and wipe the bung down in the inside of the roof of the carboy. If you don't, the bung will just, just keep trying to slide up and out. Make sure it's secure and then put your carboy in a dark closet for two weeks and write that date down when two weeks is up. Maybe send a reminder on your phone or on your computer and write down your original gravity. So you should see these bubbles anywhere from about 8 to 24 hours. Yeast eats the sugar and creates alcohol and carbon dioxide. That's what's going on here. The CO2 is releasing. And it's great because that means our yeast is working. If you don't see the bubbles after 24 hours, uh, you messed up. And there's really only four things that can happen. A, you didn't cool the wort down to 75 degrees and the heat killed off the yeast. B, you forgot to put sanitizer in the airlock. I've done that. Uh, C, uh, some part of your carboy bung and or airlock isn't airtight. I have done that as well. And D, you just forgot to add your yeast. Hopefully you guys didn't make these mistakes. Great job. And I'll see you guys in the next video.